In the previous episode we went on a mission to save the Great Barrier Reef, but decided to do a quick stopover in Gold Coast, where we learned a few skills and got ready for our final and most important mission in Cairns. Scientists all over the world are concerned about the Great Barrier Reef and its bleaching events. This is why we are going on a mission to document the current state of the reef and send video materials to UNESCO. You can start watching from the beginning if you haven't already, or otherwise just stick around, we are about to continue. Don't step on a python. Ah. <laughs> uh, I never get old. On the way to the airport we tried to pull heavily tangled strings of last night's adventures. And before hangover was gone, we committed to never drink again. We even did it in front of each other, thinking that a couple of witnesses will prevent us from another crime against human body. Too bad that witnesses turn into accomplices as soon as they hear cheers. Our mission here is finished. Hospitable and pulsing with life, Gold Coast took a fair chunk of our hearts, but gave us lots of memories instead. Fortunately, as our bird is lifting off the ground, we are starting to come back to life. We can't wait to see rainforest, tropical rivers, colorful corals. The urge for new adventures is occupying all available space, and we yet again are full of anticipation. And as we speak, our airplane looking for a place to park in the airport. After we sorted another rental car, we are following our hearts other than traffic signs. We just landed in Cairns, tropical state of sunshine, Queensland. Very early flight, so we definitely need to get some coffee. We are rushing outside the town. We're heading to a place called the Balder. It is a river and some rock pools in which we're planning to test our underwater housing in less harsh environment. We are driving straight to the mountains alongside sugarcane walls and the scorching sun. We are witnessing a green carpet of vegetation laying here in hot and humid weather. This is exactly how we pictured everything in our heads. It is finally time to pull our cameras out of protective cases, change the settings to underwater shoot, put them in the housing, reset moisture sensors, find a good spot to dive, all of that just to find out that one of the key participants of our expedition doesn't know how to dive. Luckily, after a crash course on diving, things are looking a bit better. Education was delivered by a guy with a hairstyle straight from the 19th century. Not entirely convinced that everything is ready, we decided to perform one more test, this time in a murky water next to a waterfall. Val assured us that she will try her best and participate again. 
jumping ahead, we have to admit that we should have chosen another team member as a test subject. As we were very close to some fruit farms, we decided to pay a visit. It's always a good fun to recognize your favorite treats on a tree. Mango. Where? There. Is it? You sure? Oh, yes! Yeah, mango. No, it's not. What is that? It's um, It's not mango. It's not the best looking mango. Yeah, same consistency. Mango. That's master mango, right? Yeah, it is. Is it? No, it's not. Mango. Come on. Okay, tell us about mango. Of course I do. I love mango. Don't step on a python. Ah! Bob line. <laughs> uh, it never gets old. This is how you um, see the milk crates grow. This is the most stallable item in Australia. So every single day, thousands of these get stolen. So this is how they live in the wildlife. Oh, you cutie. No one's picked it up yet. Okay, stay here, buddy. The sun was blending with the horizon and we realized that our adventures took us way too far outside the town, where we have to come back following a windy road. Tomorrow we are going to one of the miracles present, the place everyone knows about, even in locations so distant that it's probably one of very few facts known about Australia, the Great Barrier Reef. Exotic fishing colors you can only find in Photoshop. All of that will remain intact because we will most definitely save it. Так, you are here, office. What must you need now? Anything about parking? Yeah. Sir? Da. This is sir. Так, Лерка, нажимай 78-90. The day has become the main goal of the entire trip and responsibility we never experienced before. Filming of corals and its color change, followed by sending the materials for further investigation to BBC Wildlife documentaries. Today is a day is. Today is the day. Today is the day. Hopefully, we keep our breakfast inside. <laughs> we good toppers. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. A few moments later. <laughs> now we'll be fine. We'll see. <laughs> Slightly lifted by an important mission and firmly grounded by the responsibility on our shoulders, we are walking towards a vessel and the Captain Lee, who was kind enough to help us. Once on board, Lee started with a cheerful speech. Yeah, sharks are everywhere. There's sharks in here, dude. We've got bull sharks, and mainly bull sharks, and uh, there's a few tigers and hammerheads that you might see one of them. If you do, that'd be cool, like a hammerhead or something. That would be last one you see. <laughs> are, those, are those bull sharks, are they dangerous for for people? Like, can uh, they bite? Well, it depends. Sharks don't want to get injured. If a shark gets injured, it's, uh, it's like a death sentence for them. <clears throat> what you are, maybe they come up and they can't touch you to feel you. They have to touch you with their mouth. So that's the problem. Taste yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, like, yeah. I will try. I will try to scare them, right? Yeah. I will try to. Oh no! Just face them. Just watch them. Yeah. <laughs> just watch it. So you just go vertical. The eyes of the Sorry? <laughs> just go vertical. Yeah. And then just face them all the time, because there's nothing in the ocean that is vertical. Okay. There's lots of things in the ocean that are swimming around like that. Yeah. Ah, so they eat fish and meat. Oh, just they eat fish. whatever they can. They're just scavengers, you know. Uh -huh. Like any easy meal. The easier the meal, the better. 
like us. <laughs> easy meal. Such a big easy. meal. <laughs> About my look at myself. Such an easy big meal. Combo. <laughs> Special combo. I wish for crocodiles also. <laughs> and what is the techniques with crocodiles? Stay vertical. Stay vertical. Stay vertical. Should well try to scare a crocodile somehow? Sure, and just make sure you're filming. It'll <laughs> <laughs> okay, viral. You guys right? Yeah. Look at Val, she's absolutely confident. So, because it's smooth inside here, we'll go faster while we can. Yeah. We'll have to slow down later on. Yeah. Sure. Here we capture the moments of Val being able to see the future. All the instruments were showing signs of success and our captain glided through the waves to the destination. The future Val was seen wasn't very distant. Because of the strong wind, we had to start our mission on the sheltered side of the Fitzroy Island. As soon as we reached our destination, we were ready to start. Lee was surprised that all we had with us was a camera, budget smugglers and six mandarins. But nonetheless, he played along and even pulled out of nowhere a wetsuit for each of us. Because apparently it is how you attract luck in these waters. We didn't argue yeah. with a very experienced man. But it didn't go without a few awkward moments. Yeah, now the unfortunate thing about this wetsuit is it doesn't really design for men. So you have to decide testicles left, right or right in the middle. So then it's like left, right. Right, we'll split the beans right in the middle. Turn around. Two strings. <laughs> Steel could be worse. Amongst all the options, there was only one to fit Alex. Unfortunately, it was designed for winning gymnastics competition, not diving. But fortunately, Fish didn't seem to care. After a few brief moments, our team was ready for our life's mission. It is apparent now that the prosperity of the entire ecosystem depends on these three. All marine inhabitants can now breathe with full lungs, because we are definitely going to do all the heavy lifting for them, and as a result of our work, they will be all saved. Dear viewers, please get ready to admire our genius. We are going under the water. We did an amazing job and fully satisfied, we're almost ready to climb back on the board. But our Captain Lee, who witnessed our genius firsthand, decided to offer some help. Not that we lack some depth, stability or common sense, but out of a huge respect to Lee, we will let him do his thing.
when we finished saving corals, we went back to land. Val found this spot very relaxing, while Alex was extremely anxious. <laughs> oh, sorry, the other way. As soon as we docked, all was left is to send our video materials to National Geographic so they can compare the coral's color with one of the previous missions. We thanked our captain and shared our emotions while those were still fresh. If one of the members didn't want to go to the toilet, it could have been a bit longer. Hey guys, how does it feel to step on a solid ground? Look, for me, for me, I'm so happy we're back. For me, yeah. it was an easy trip. Um, an easy. I have a of water so it was pretty choppy today so I'm, I'm so happy we're back safe yeah. are you are you happy overall i'm happy of course i'm happy yeah, and uh, it's worth it okay it's definitely Alex? i've seen corals fish and turtle even more i've seen it from the drone all this nice views and scenery so i'm very happy it is it is a different world here okay i'm happy too bye After a quick nap, we realized that it's already dark. We went outside for a walk, followed by Tina. After Val had fixed her monobrow, we were ready to emerge ourselves in the last day in Cairns. It was only a few hours before our flight and all we had to do was to film our sponsor's piece in a pretty place. We went in Daintree Forest to see if it was a match. Что, в госпиталь? <laughs> Душевно больных? Ну конечно. <laughs> а -а -а -а. <laughs> Keep your comments to yourself on this one, folks. Alex and I didn't say a thing. We hope you want either. Spread your pretty wings for me. Let me deep inside. Daintree Forest was beautiful without a doubt, but the sky was grey, and we decided to try our luck of filming Sponsor's Beat on the way back in a place called Palm Cove. We are going there following a winding road. The moment of creation was captured well before my counterparts realized. Hello, this is our future Another good news, from our friends Palm from Yubi created a platform made it. which Join unites Yubi all active affair. and positive people we'll together. We'll be posting backstages and some other relevant materials that for some reasons couldn't make to the Ivania. episodes. Following below, uh -huh. register Palm Code, which means we've made it. Which unites all active and positive people together. With the excellence very familiar to us, the job here was done. Each of us spent a few minutes admiring the perfect scenery around us, hoping to come back in the near future, because it felt like we barely touched the surface of North Queensland potential. Sunny Queensland gave us a lot of joy, challenged us on the ocean's swell and showed us a few dance moves, while pouring on us a cocktail made from hospitality and friendship. We thank everyone who in one way or another helped us with our mission and saying goodbye until the next time when adventure calls and friends are there to join. Thank you for watching.